I know we've had this day marked on the calendar for quite a while, but it's finally here. <clears throat> yep. Sure is. What? The confluence. A harvest a hundred moons in the making. When every apple comes ripe at the same time. Big Mac's been up late working on this schedule so we can be sure not to miss a single tree. All it'll take now is a few days of hard work. Who's with me? Oh, that looks like a lot of work. Oh, don't you worry, Chicka Biddy. We got this confluence under control. I got us some help. That's great, Granny. Twilight and the others are too busy at the school to lend a hoof. We could sure use some more muscle. Who'd you get? Rayburn? Honeycrisp? <laughs> Even better! How you wake a pony up. Coldy delicious! Granny told me I could use a helping hook with this here confluence, so I came a running. Well, with the harvest this big, we're grateful for all the help we can get. I guess. Yup. That's too bad y'all ain't ever caught the great seedling. He granted you a perpetual harvest, confluence or no. <laughs> <laughs> the great seedling? Well, now, I haven't thought about that old mare's tale for years. The great seedling ain't no mare's tale. He's a magical earth spirit. All the colors of the harvest that travels from farm to farm, daring ponies to catch him. And those that have the ingenuity are rewarded with crops that are always in bloom. And he's as real as you and me! As I'm up to recall, Apple Bloom used to love setting traps for the great seedling when she was a youngin'. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure she's outgrown the whole thing by now. Right, Apple Bloom? Or maybe I'm big enough now to finally catch him! Who's with me? Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Apple Bloom, you haven't hunted for the great seedling since you were little. Why would you want to start again now? The confluence is so big. He's bound to show up, and if we catch him, he'll make. That's right, young filly. Oh, just imagine, Sweet Apple Acres would be the busiest orchard in Equestria. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Don't forget we have actual work to do, too. Nothing like a little filly enjoying the harvest. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Apple Bloom having fun, but there's honest to goodness work to do that doesn't have a thing to do with an old legend. Oh, quit worrying, sugar booger. Apple Bloom can hunt for the seedling all she wants. If you're so fretified about work, why don't you and your brother get to bucking your own selves? Granny's right. Ah! Come on, sleepyhead. Let's get to work. <sighs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and if she had two of them, it would have been a pair of pairs. Oh, <laughs> as much as I appreciate her volunteering, I'm not sure how much help Goldie's gonna be. 
Oh, now that reminds me of the time Dorothy, well, that's my cheetah, you understand, she found out where I keep the catnip. Oh. <laughs> I love hearing her and Granny spinning yarns, but it looks like the harvesting's up to us. You're gonna have to redo that schedule. Uh, yep. And as much as I'd rather Apple Bloom were helping, I guess there's no harm in her hunting the great seedling for a day, right? Big Mac! Gotcha! Aw, you ain't the great seedling. Nope. <laughs> we fell behind a bit yesterday, so we need every pony at their best. If that's your brother's best, we might be done for her. Mm -hmm. uh, he was just up late working out a new schedule so he can stay on track. I didn't sleep either. I was too excited. I can't wait to see if I caught the great seedling. I hope you're ready to cheer Apple Bloom up when her traps come up empty. This is all the excitement about. Look! The great Seedland did this, didn't he? Well, braid my mane. These sure look like great Seedland tracks to me. Oh, I knew it! He was here! The great Seedland was here! Isn't that amazing, Applejack? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Neither can I. What do you think this means? <laughs> well, it looks to me like a challenge. The seedling wants you to know that he was here, and he's daring you to catch him. Mm -hmm. You think I still have a chance? You're an apple, ain't you? Why, if you set enough traps, you're bound to catch him. You're right. And that's just what I'm going to do. Look out, great seedling. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would you go and do a thing like that? A thing like what? You know what I mean. We got enough work to do without you distracting Apple Bloom by making some apple tracks and pretending the great seedling did it. <gasps> I did no such thing! What in the tater tarnation would make you say a thing like that? Well, some pony did it. And she sure seems to be enjoying this quite a lot. I'm enjoying it because Apple Bloom's enjoying it. Uh-huh. And I suppose you two didn't do it either? Mm, nope. Of course not. But I suppose it could have been Goldie's cats. Why don't you ask them? Have you considered that maybe it was the Great Seedling after all? Ha-ha, very funny. I swear, sometimes I think she's part mule. Apple Bloom? You know where there's more rope? I've got a lot of traps to make if I'm gonna catch the great seedling. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I know you're excited, but we sure could use your help today. Are you sure you want to spend time trying to catch something that might not even be real? What? But the great seedling is real. You saw the tracks. You think those appeared all by themselves? I don't know who made the tracks, but I don't think it was the great seedling. Why not? Because the great seedling is just something to make the harvest fun for youngins. And you're old enough now to know that there's a time for fun and there's a time for work. But catching the great seedling is helping. He can make the trees blossom all the time. All right. How about this? If you help me with the harvest today, I'll help you set traps for the great seedling tonight. Deal? Woohoo! Yes! It's a deal! Kinda looks like those seedling tracks, huh? Sure, 
If there were hundreds of apples in a bunch of different lines. Well, if enough apples fell or got knocked down, by the wind, maybe. Or animals. I'm just saying there's a lot of possible explanations. And one of them is the great seedling. And the rest of them ain't. That ain't what you thought when you was a foal. What does that mean? Your sister was plum loco about catching the great seedling when she was your age. Same as you are now. Worse even. Oh, is that so? Do tell, Granny. Well, now, it must have been the last confluenki, I reckon. I was supposed to keep an eye on your sister, but she was slipperier than an apple seed. Applejack, get your plank back here. You're supposed to be sorting in the barn. Sorry, Granny. I gotta check my traps or the great seedling might get away. Now, where'd I put that trap? <gasps> Bust my buds. Where's that young and get to? She spent the better half of the day stuck in that trap. <laughs> and missed out on helping with the harvest because I was chasing something for little foes. I felt guilty every pony else had to work harder because of me. So I decided right then and there I was too old to waste any more time on the great seedling. Oh, we finished the harvest just fine. But we laughed about that story for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm sorry that happened, Applejack, but it won't if you and me set traps together like you promised. Plus, we'll get them done twice as fast and won't miss out on any of the harvest. Then let's get to work. <gasps> Together. <laughs> I forgot what a good time it could be. If any two ponies can catch the great seedling, it's us. I can't wait to check in the morning. Now, there's still plenty of harvesting to do. So promise me you'll help, even if all our traps are empty. I promise. So long as you're ready for the bountiful harvest, the great seedling's gonna give us one one of our traps, Nabum. <laughs> Deal. Yeah. Come on, Applejack! If we hurry, we can check every trap and still stay on schedule! Now that's what I like to hit. Whoa! <gasps> I don't believe it! This must have taken all night! <laughs> yep. Nothing! Huh? I checked all the traps near the tracks. Everyone was sprung, but they're all empty. Every trap sprung? No way Critters did this. Or the wind. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe the great seedling really was here. So, you're finally ready to admit the great seedling might be real? I can't think of anything else that could have laid out these tracks and sprung all our traps. 
And if he left this many tracks behind, he's practically begging us to catch him. Ah, you ain't never seen anything like this before. Well, tell us what you have seen. Goldie, you too. We need to know it all if we're really gonna catch him. Sure, Goldie and I'll tell you all about the great seedling all day while we work. Work? Apple Bloom and I don't have time to work today. We've got to set up traps in every row, even the carrots, just to be sure. Yesterday you said the great seedling was just something to make the harvest fun for youngins. That was before I thought we could actually catch them. Besides, <sighs> Big Mac can make time on the schedule for us to set traps, right? Uh, yep. Great. Get to it. Apple Bloom and I are going to go capture us the great seedling. Just one more hill to go. What's wrong, Big Mac? Oh, is this right? Uh, yup. But that doesn't make any sense. How can all these trees be bare if we haven't bucked them yet? Seems like more work of the great seedling to me. How do you mean? Well, the closer you get to catching the critter, the more mischievous it gets. You're saying the great seedling is taking our apples? Yes. Sounds like he's fixing to throw you off the stand. Have you ever heard of any pony actually catching them? Oh, there are stories, but it's hard to say for sure. He's quite the trickster. Guess that's why the reward is so great if you can trap him. Well, his tricks have given me an idea. Setting traps is one thing. But I reckon if we keep watch over the trees that haven't been bucked, the seedling won't know what hit them. That's a great idea. Any pony else want to stay up with us? An old pony like me needs your beauty rest, but you young ones have a good time. My kitties can't sleep unless they're curled up on my haunches. <laughs> but I can't wait to see the great seedling with my own eyes once you catch them. Guess it's just you and me. No pony else wants to come out, but I'm glad we're doing this together. <laughs> Me too. It's been a long time since I was on a real seedling hunt, and this is the first time doing it with my little sister. <sighs> when did you start trying to catch the great seedling? I couldn't have been much more than a foal. I remember our parents tucking Big Mac and me in and telling us all about the great seedling. I got so excited, I could barely sleep, so I... <sighs> Don't you worry, Sugar Cube. I won't let him get away. Huh? Huh? Applejack, wake up! Huh? What is it? I think a trap went off! Well, let's go check it out! See anything? Mm-mm. Don't scare him off. We gotta lead him into one of the traps. I'm not worried about scaring him.
Jefferson in his sleep this whole time. Big Mac is the great seedling? <laughs> You okay, Big Mac? Mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to all of Big Mac's late night work, we brought in the whole harvest with time to spare. No wonder you were so tired all the time. Mm, yep. I'm glad we solved the mystery, but I really wanted to catch the great seedling before I get too old to try. You know what, Sugar Cube? You're never too old to be a filly. There will always be work to do, but having fun together is something you never grow out of. Well, looks like you don't need me no more. Time to get home before Dottie gets in the catnip again. I have stories about that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're real glad you came, Goldie. Sure are. Come back next year. Looks like you forgot to clean up the carrots. Huh. Big Mac wasn't harvesting the carrots, just the apples. Mm hmm. You know what this means? Time for another hunt! Look out, Great Seedling! 